Back when Virtual TJ 2023 was released, it came with a new home folder location. And that freaked a few people out because they couldn't find the stuff anymore. And actually, it kind of still freaks a few people out. Because it went from this old folder where it's always been in your documents folder and Virtual TJ, we had easy access because a lot of people are often in their documents folder, right, for all sorts of stuff. And then it got replaced to this folder. Uh, which is in the app data, uh, where we has a, have a, a subfolder down here called Virtual DJ. That app data folder is actually also hidden, so people rarely know about this. And the thing is, this app data slash local slash Virtual DJ folder has always existed, or at least for a very long time, because there's some caching and drivers in here, and also a copy of your license stat file. So in case the primary one breaks and you are offline. Uh, Virtual DJ will still run with your license registration. So it's always been there. So the new thing was just that everything got moved in here instead of being out here. And that's, of course, quite a change. Now, the reason for this is kind of blurry, but uh, I believe it's because this is where most software stores their internal files. And let's face it, even though we know and love them, the database XML file and the settings file are actually internal files for Virtual DJ, right? So that's probably why they went to do the standard way and put it in the app data folder. But it doesn't have to be this way. You can change it and then bring back this folder uh, as your home folder. And there's at least three ways to do this. So I'm going to go through those in this video. Now, before we do that, let's just jump into Visual DJ and see where we can check what our current home folder is. So it's actually as easy as going to settings and going into options where I already am right now. And then look down at the button right, uh, and there's a small cogwheel. And if you click that, it opens up the current home folder. So as you can see for me on this installation right now, that's documents slash virtual DJ. And this is your entire uh, home folder, right? So that's an easy way to see the current place of your home folder. And it's also an easy place to go into the app data folder, even though it's hidden, if that's where you end up having your home folder. Now, the first way is when you're on a brand new laptop or a freshly installed laptop, right? So there's no virtual data at all on this laptop right now. So in that situation, you basically start with this fresh install in the installer. As you can see right now on the download page of the DJ, uh, this is built 7482, that's the public version right now. And that's the one I've, I have. So that's Virtual DJ 2023, of course, right? So uh, I do need to click the I accept the terms, but then instead of just installing, uh, if I want to change the home folder, I can go into advanced. Because then the first one up here is actually going to be where Virtual DJ, the exe file, the executable is going to be placed. and this is going to be in program files slash virtual DJ, where it always is. So that's fine. We, we, we do want to do that. But then when we're going to skins and plugins, that's actually the home folder. So as you can see, it plans to put that in uh, app data, local virtual DJ. But we don't want that. We want the old location. So we can say browse. And then we can say that we actually want it to be in our documents folder here. And we actually want to create a new a new folder here on the documents because there isn't any because we haven't had a virtual DJ installed for before. And then we put in virtual DJ. Like that. So now it's gonna be on this on this new folder, but it's gonna be the same home folder location as before. So then it's great, then it's fine. And then we can just click OK, and we can install like normal. And then we can, of course, launch, but we don't want to do that because that's actually kind of secondary right now. So then we go into Documents here, and we can see that now we have our new Virtual DJ folder, and it's the real one. And just as soon as I open Virtual DJ, And close it again. 
you can see we get the database file, the settings file, and the license stack file. And of, co of course, it didn't have anything else because this was a brand new install. But now you can, of course, while the virtual DJ is shut down, copy in from an old version or from a backup or whatever to get all your old stuff, all your old plugins and stuff, and of course, your old database file uh, so that you're ready to move on from a previous version. So that's entirely possible. And then if we look into the other virtual DJ location, the one we don't want really, uh, that's also been created, the uh, app data local virtual DJ one. But like I said before, that's mainly to store the license that file, so it's, which is really a backup of this that, this one, the license that over here, so that if one of them breaks, then you still have the other one if you're offline at a gig. Now, the second way of getting the old home folder location is by taking advantage of the fact that if you do have an old version of Virtual DJ installed, Virtual DJ 2023 will simply take over the current of the old home folder location. But in this instance, of course, we don't have that, uh, but we can fake it. So uh, we simply install an older version first. So in this case, I've downloaded an old Virtual DJ 2021, uh, build 6886. And then I do a fresh install of that one. So just like before, now we don't need to do anything. We don't need to think because this is a fresh laptop. There's no virtual DJ, virtual DJ on it at all. So we just click here and we let it install. And that's fine. We don't need to launch anything. Now, when we go back into the documents folder, we can see that the virtual DJ folder has been created and is of course empty. But if you launch virtual DJ, and shut it down again. Then we get the database file and the settings file and the license state file. So now that's ready to, to run, of course, but it would an old version of Virtual DJ, uh, which has ensured that we're in the old home folder location, right? So we have, when I then grab the new one, the 2023 one, and install that now, that's because of the fact that the old version is already here. I don't need to do anything. I can click, simply click install. Just to test, I'm going to click advanced for just a second, the place where before. And you can see if I click down here, it's going to use the documents virtual DJ folder. So that's just a quick little test. Let's just go back and say we just want to do a regular install. And like I said, because it's the, uh, it's basically an upgrade, right? Because I just did the old one. So because of this, it's not going to use the new location in App Data. It's going to use the current location because we just installed an older version. So now when I launch Virtual DJ, it's of course going to be the latest version. Let me just do this, do this. And now when we click into the options to check where it is, just as a test, you can see it is indeed in the documents virtual DJ folder. So we have the old folder back just by installing an older version first. And then of course, you can still grab uh, all the stuff from your backup uh, to get your old database file back and get your old settings file back and maybe your old history and some of the plugins and stuff. That's just the same as before. So the third way is if you want to do it when we already have virtual DJ installed, so here we have uh, maybe a, a favorite folder, putting on some files, we have some virtual folders, we have some filter folders, uh, we set the skin how we like it. So all this kind of stuff has already been done. And of course, normally there'll be a lot more stuff and we set up the, the audio interface, all this stuff. But when we go into options, we can and click the location down here by uh, clicking the little cogwheel. We can see that we're actually in the new place, the app data local virtual DJ place. And we don't want to be that. Can we do that then when we are? This is after the fact that we have the new version and everything's working fine, but we just want to be in the old location. And yes, we can do that too, because we can just move it. We need to do two things. So let me guide you through that. So first we shut down virtual DJ again, because that won't like we're doing this behind its back. So now we shut that down and we have the app data folder. And this is the documents folder. The, so the place we really want to be. So there's no virtual DJ down here. So the first step down here is to simple, simply go into the folder we want to be in. And there's a documents root, right? And over here, we can go one up 
And then we can just grab the virtual TTA folder here and drag it over here. So that gets moved. So now we go, we go into the document root folder. We have the virtual TTA folder over here now, where we want it to be. So no more virtual TTA over here. So that's all good and dandy, but that ha what happens then uh, if you open virtual TTA? Well, and of course it goes horribly wrong because it hasn't got anything anymore. Uh, so it's just back to being brand new uh, because it doesn't know that we moved it. So that's one more step we need to do. And just to make it clear, this is not supported by Atomics. This is not uh, something that's recommended that you do, but you can if you want to. And that's called using the register editor to change the location that Virtual GTA believes its home folder is in. So I do that by uh, open a little helping product called Ragged Registry Editor uh, in here. And then I go into current user and I go down to software and I go down to virtual DJ, this one. And then you can see the home folder is actually just something in here. Uh, that's the, the app data one. And that's the one we don't want. So uh, let me just go out here, go into the actual virtual DJ folder. This is where we want to be. And then grab this, go back into the register editor, click this and say, no, I want this to be here instead. Okay. Let's save and close. So we save it by closing it like that. And now when we open virtual DJ, it's going to have all the information because now it's using the folder that we want. So we can check it by clicking this and we can see we're now in the documents virtual DJ folder and we have all our stuff and everything is running its planned. So that was the third way of doing, uh, doing it. And like I said, it's not really supported uh, to do it this way because you're messing with the internals of the software, but it definitely does work. So this was just three ways to get in your old home folder location back in Virtual DJ, the one in documents, the one we know and love. And the first one by, was by simply changing it in the installer when you install Virtual DJ 2023. The second one was this little uh, trick, if you will, by using the fact that uh, Virtual DJ 2023 will respect uh, home folders from previous installs if it can find them. So we took advantage of that by simply installing an older version first. But of course, this is more work. Now, the third option was in the situation where you already have your home folder in the wrong location, and then you can simply move it to the location you want and go into the registry editor and change the virtual DJ home folder location in there to max up, match up with the new location where you put it. Uh, that's not supported really, so do it on your own risk, uh, but it does work. And of course, that's also the way you can do it if you want to move the home folder to a totally different location 